Hi, in this video, I would like to show you how you can use the record functionality in the Chrome DevTools and how you can generate Puppeteer code so that you can use that Puppeteer code to run repetitive tasks or it can be browser automation testing or any kind of task you want to do repetitively. So how you can use those um, script. Uh, so let's get started. So for that, I'm going to use my website uh, for testing. Um, so I'm going to open inspector and I've already selected the record option and but I'm let me show you how you can do so you can go to run command and select record so you can see show recorder so I can start recording I can say uh, test BDD so I can start give a new recording name and I can start a new recording so I'm going to select this. This is a, a night view. And I can also see uh, when I trigger an action, there's a light. It's green here. And let me also do something else. So I can also make some changes here. Also make some changes here. And I'm going to end the recording now. So here I can perform this replay. Uh, so you could see here it goes to the orange. And you can see here what browser actions I've done. And now the important thing is I can save this script, the actions, what I did, and which is a JavaScript. So I can just save it in my folder, uh, test bdd.js. I'm going to show you how does it look like in a minute. So I've saved it. Um, now I can go to my Visual Studio Code. I'd suggest a simple to your project. I'm going to drag my file, which is saved here, the test PDD file. And if you want to know more information about uh, Puppeteer, you can take a look. Puppeteer is a node library which provides high-level API to control headless Chrome. And you can do so many things with this. Uh, screenshots, you can generate screenshots, uh, PDFs of pages, um, automate form submissions, UI testing, and keyboard inputs. Um, so if you want to take more details, uh, take a look here. And let's go and see what this is. Um, so you can see here, it is performing some actions. Uh, go to and select the selector. I don't have to worry about what selector it's selected. And it performs some actions. For this demo, I'm going to make um, some changes. Uh, you, I can just run this uh, script and you're going to see the results. So to make this visible for the demonstration, I'm going to use um, code example. Um, just want to make it visible. Yeah, the Chrome browser is visible. Um, for that, I have to make sure that and I have a, yes, so I have to make this uh, Headless mode false. So that means you can see the browser. So I'm going to make this browser headless. I'm going to save this. And all I have to do is I can just now run this test BDD JS. And this is going to run the puppeteer. And you're going to see uh, the browser opens and browser. Uh, takes these actions, uh, whatever the actions I've assigned, um, opening the browser and with the dimension and opening it, clicking on several elements and evaluate uh, the dimensions. You can have your custom uh, checks if you want. Um, so this gives you kind of a starting point where you can start testing um, UI automation. So let's see how, how it looks. I'm going to run this script now. So see here, it opens now the browser and it performs some check and it closes here. So I hope this gives you a um, useful way, a uh, helpful way to automate it without having to worry about all different selectors, what to have to open so, so that you can start working on it. Uh, hope this, will, this is useful. Thank you.